Welcome to our beginner friendly guide on how to add your first product on Shopify. And if you're just starting out feeling a bit overwhelmed, do not worry because we are here to help you through the entire process. So let's jump in right here. But wait, but before we do that, just make sure that you have the following clear, high quality images of the product that you want to list. And then you have to have the product specifics like the size, weight, material, and so on. You also need the target price that leaves enough room for profit. Now, if you're drop shipping from a supplier, you will need the link of the product from the supplier so you will know where to fulfill the order from. All right, let's jump here on my computer. I'm in the back end of my Shopify store. All right, so first things first, we click here on the products on the Shopify section and then add product. This is what you're going to see. And then you have to first thing to do is to place the title. Now, it's very important to choose a title that incorporates relevant keywords to boost search engine visibility. And how do we validate relevant keywords for our title? Well, the main idea here is to first draft a title that will be understood by buyers, differentiating from other marketplaces like Amazon or eBay that have title character limits and different requirements on Shopify. I recommend drafting a product title that is about 70 characters long and describes the item best. Even if it's less than 70 characters, this is also okay. Another thing that I want to say is that ChatGPT can help you with this. And I also recommend you to read this article right here from Shopify Help Center. I'm going to leave this link down below in the description section. A great way to discover strong keywords is to use the keyword planner of Google ads to generate ideas for strong keywords and it's free. All you need to do is to add a credit or debit card on the file to use this tool for free. And it's very easy to use in the settings. Just make sure that you select your target audience country and add the keywords that best describe the product. And within seconds, you will get great ideas for strong keywords and their search volume. And you can use the keywords in both your product title and product description. Now, let me know if you're interested to know more about how to use the Google Keyword Planner to find strong keywords for product titles and descriptions for your Shopify store by commenting below, because we can make another video just on how to use Google Keywords Planner for you, right? After my research, this is the title that I came up with. Um, it's a yoga mat. And after you place the title, you have the description. Now, make sure to include in the product description information such as materials used, product dimensions, benefits, and unique selling points. And when using Shopify and having your own e-commerce store, it's crucial to place emphasis on aligning the description with the brand's voice, considering the customer's potential questions that they might have. And if you need assistance to improve your English writing, I also recommend using ChatGPT. It's what I did. And this is the description that I came up with, with ChatGPT. And as you, as you can see, it introduces here with an idea, you know, your go to choice, then you have the key features, you have the specifications, and basically, uh, like a call to action and an idea to enhance your yoga practice and outdoor adventures with this lightweight and versatile mat. So this is also, you know, I just copied the specifications and some features from my supplier, and I placed on ChatGPT and this is what happened. Now, after this, we can add product images or videos. Always use high quality images like in JPEG format because they are critical in forming the customer's first impression. And also when the buyer increases the image sizes, like on mobile phones, the image will need to stay in good quality. So I'm just going to upload here the images that I have so far of this product like this, I'm going to choose main image. Um, for the main image, I'll select this one. It's the first image is the main image. Um, and then you can see here, these are images that I got from my supplier. I just added uh, a few text and colors based on my brand's colors. 
And now here's the pricing. Before we move to pricing, don't miss out on more helpful guides and tips to improve your Shopify experience. So hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, like this video, it means a lot to me and to everyone here. All right, so let's talk about pricing. So you can set the price here. You have a few options, but when setting the price, you need to analyze various factors, such as the production costs, market demand, competitor price, and perceived value. I recommend using the compare at price feature for some products that you are listing because this feature will make our product appear as if it's on sale it creates like a price anchoring and we will add the price that we want to sell the product for in the price column right here and a slight higher price in the column right here so here i'm going to charge 29.99 and the price I'm going to compare with is going to be, you know, maybe $32.99 like this. And what's going to happen later, I will show you that this is going to have a strike through in this number right here. But I'll, I'll show you after we publish the item. Like this, the buyers feel like the price is currently lower than it should be. So it creates a sense of urgency. However, don't make compare the price column significantly higher all right don't don't put like five hundred dollars here uh, when the price is thirty dollars you know because then that's just gonna look scammy and it's not reasonable and then you have the section here cost per item and this is the cost of this product for me which it's nine dollars the next part is the inventory management and basically it comes down to stock tracking as k use and barcodes now you can use shopify's feature uh track quantity right here to manage inventory levels and avoid selling more products than you have in stock right so in this case you would put track quantity and then you could put here the amount of um, products in stock you do have the option to continue selling when it's out of stock. And uh, another option here is that this product has SKU barcode. And by the way, SKU stands for stock keeping unit. And it's a unique code often made up of eight letters and numbers that stores and warehouses 3PL use to track their inventory. But I want to put here, um, let's say a stock of 20. Now, when it comes to shipping and handling, it will depend on what type of products that you are selling, either physical products or digital products. So let's go over both of them. So if you're selling a physical product, you just leave this check on and then you uh, specify the weight in kilograms or pounds or whatever that you see fit and adjust the settings for international shipments. You see here the countries setting up shipping zones and policies um, if you have questions about like setting up the shipping policies on shopify store let me know because then we can do a in-depth video about that all right for wholesales and for drop shippers and then if you're selling like a digital product you simply come here and you uncheck this part okay like this so that's it if you're selling non-physical goods you just unclick here all right so do you have any questions or some advice drop your questions in the comment section below like we really love helping out and we're gonna respond to your questions as soon as possible so let's continue if is the case with your products you can add the variants here by size color material and the values and then you save you go saving here the variants all right in this case in this product we don't have variants it's just one single yoga mat and then we have the last section here, which is basically, you know, SEO. Do you know what SEO is? This stands for search engine optimization. And it's nothing else than a way to make your website show up higher when people naturally search for things online in search engines like Google that are related to your business offers. So by making a product page easier to find, you are most likely to get more people visiting it organically because it matches what they're searching for. SEO involves changing your website so that search engines like it better and show it 
to more people. And here are some ways to do it. The first way is the product page, right? So creating a product page like we did here with all this information, with a list of strong keywords, with high search volume that you found using Keyword Planner on Google Ads, you know, you can just add these keywords here to the product description like I did and make sure that it's readable and understandable for the buyer with accurate product info like I did right here, all right? Another way is just to scroll down here the last part and to create a title and meta description for SEOs. So in order to convince someone to click on your product page when they find it on a search engine website like Google, for example, the page title and the description need to be optimized for the search engine and also convince the potential buyer to click on the page. This is an example of how a page title and meta description look on Google. We have the title of the page here and below it, the meta description, a short description that helps the buyers understand what they're going to see if they click on this page. These act as gates to our website or product page, and that's why we need to make sure the product page and the meta description are clear, understood, and include keywords with high search volume. So this is how it's looking right now automatically from our title and from our description. So here you can make these adjustments if you wish. For example, if you want to make this look more clear, we don't really need this information right here, order now, all this, because we want to make it very appealing, right? So once you do here, don't put too much information in my personal opinion. You just put introducing your, your go to yoga and like this. All right. This describes the product in two lines. It's better for the eye and easy to understand. And again, this step needs to be done before you publish the product to your Shopify store so it can be indexed properly from the beginning on all search engines. So are you ready to publish this product? So the last step is just to click here, save. You can see the status here, it's active. And now let's just go through our website and check it out. Check it out, it's right here. And then you can see the strike through that I mentioned. And then you click here, everything's looking pretty good. And that wraps up our beginner friendly guide on how to add your first product on Shopify. Keep moving forward and see you next time.